Hello and welcome to the tutorial series by QuickSite.com. In this tutorial we are going to go over how to create a contact form like this one here. To begin as always log in. You want to start by going to your components. Now with your site you're probably going to have a contact already pre-structured. Um, but what you're going to want to do is first create your categories and I've already have two categories created, one called General Contact, one called Support Department. But let's just create a new one, for example. I'm going to call it New Contact Category, just real simple. Let's show you how it works. You can give a description about the contact category if you like, and also change its access level. And when you save that, there's your new contact category. Once you have the categories that you want set up, a lot of times you may just have one, then you go into the actual contacts. And you notice I already have two contacts here, one for webmaster, one for support. Let's create a new contact, simply click new. And it's just simply filling out forms or uh, fields from here. So you would type in your name. Again, the alias is lowercase, no space. And here you would select a category that you just previously defined. Let's put it into the new contact category. And link to user. Right now we only have one user, which is the administrator. Contacts position. The email address. And the email address you type into here is actually the email address the contact form will send the message to. Here you would type in your street address, the town, state, postal, country. Your telephone number. If there's a website URL that you uh, want to show, you can place it there. You can place miscellaneous information. Um, here and that can include HTML. And then over here you have contact parameters which basically allows you to show or hide all the information you just placed in here. Um, you don't have to fill in everything um, in order for it to save. You can leave these blank. Um, just make sure that you hide that or else it's going to show a blank space. But anyway, um, we're going to just choose to show all this. Let's say we're a brave company and we don't care about our street address and we've got inventory and you know maybe we've got a brick and mortar shop. So I'm going to save that. And then there is the new contact name. And it is under the category new contact category. Now it's time to make a link on the front of my site somewhere that will take them to that contact. Now what I have in place right now is, as you notice, there's Webmaster and Support, which corresponds to the two contacts we have here, Webmaster and Support. And the reason they're showing up as sublinks under the top link category is because there's already a, a corresponding menu item called Contact, and I have placed two contact menu items as sublinks under it. So let me do two things here. Let me add the new contact as a top link and then ultimately I'll place it as a sublink under my um, contact top link that already exists. So to do so you'd click new for new menu item. In this case you're going to go to contacts because we're not wanting to make a menu item that goes to our web pages. We're wanting to make a menu item that goes to the contact section. It's going to ask you do you want to um, show a contact category layout. The contact category layout displays all the published contacts in a given category. Or just a standard contact layout for a single contact. So I'll choose that one for this example. And I'll type in new contact. And notice that's going to display in the main menu, which means that's going to display in here. And also up here, since these two are actually the same thing. One's just horizontal and the other's vertical. And it's going to ask me to select the contact. 
and this is the new one that I made. And then I'm going to hit apply because I don't want to leave this page. I'm going to make a change. When I do that and we go to the front of the page or our front end and refresh, you will now see new contact as a new menu item under the menu called main menu. And when we click that new contact, there is the new contact information that we just created. Let's say that I don't want it to show up as a new top link. Let's say I want it to show as a third sublink under my contact link I already have. To do so, you'd simply go in and choose contact as the parent item and hit save. Now when you refresh your page, it will remove the top link and place the new contact in the sublink, which is how it looks on the back end. And that is how you create a contact item and link it to a menu item. And that concludes this tutorial.